Hey guys, so one of my all-time favorite classes that I've ever taken in college was, of all things, a film class about transmedia storytelling. Well, that's probably because we watched Star Wars related videos every week, and my final paper was about the TV show The Office and Twitter, but the idea of a transmedia story is still really cool. A transmedia story is a story told through more than one type of media, be it books, movies, TV shows, video games, cartoons, comic books, social media, or any other type of media you can think of. Now, for a story to actually be classified as a transmedia story, the different media all have to tell unique aspects to the story. For example, a book to movie adaptation is not a transmedia story because the movie is just telling the exact same story as the book and it's not adding anything new. Now you can probably tell that I find the idea of a transmedia story really cool and so you can imagine my excitement when I found a new transmedia story right here on the internet. You've probably already guessed this from the video title but I'm of course talking about The Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Okay, so if you're not watching the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, I would highly, highly recommend that you do so. In my opinion, it's the smartest and funniest show on YouTube right now. So for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, the Lizzie Bennet Diaries is a modern day adaptation of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. It's told from the perspective of the main character, Lizzie Bennet, through a series of video blogs that she makes with her best friend, Charlotte. Now, since everything is being told from Lizzie's point of view, that kind of presents a small problem for the story because unless Lizzie wants to include any anyone else in her videos, we're not gonna meet them or get their perspective or anything. And because of the nature of video blogs, it is very biased towards Lizzie's opinions, and she is a very opinionated person. They have, however, addressed this in the show so far, especially in episode 15 when Charlotte and Lizzie's older sister Jane take over in an attempt to say what really happened in some recent events. Of course, in the next episode, Lizzie denies everything, but in general, we only hear what Lizzie tells us. This then introduces the viewer to the concept of negative capability, which is a meaningful gap in the story that allows the viewer to fill in that gap with their own imagination. However, he might get the feeling that there's too much of a gap because Lizzie has told us all about Bing Lee, his sister Caroline, and their friend William Darcy, but we haven't actually been introduced to them yet. So in an attempt to fill in that gap a little bit, all the characters, including the three we haven't met yet, have Twitter accounts and have been tweeting away since the story began. The conversations they've been having are pretty great, and through their tweets we can get to know each character a little better and form a bit of a more rounded opinion of them. Granted, it's a little difficult to get to know someone 140 characters at a time, but it's better than nothing, because let's face it, Lizzie is not the most reliable source. The fact that the characters are tweeting and even a few of them tumbling, Jane has a pretty awesome fashion blog, really gives the whole series a sense of reality to it. You really get the sense that these are real people you're following on Twitter and watching on YouTube, and I have to keep reminding myself that they're just fictional characters. They've really done a great job giving the character's life. As you may have guessed, a transmedia story really relies on the viewer's want to hunt down all this extra information. This might be a turnoff for some people, seeing as how the information isn't really completely necessary to understand the, the main storyline, but I would definitely recommend putting in that little bit of extra effort because it really does make for a much more rewarding viewing experience. In the case of the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, they've actually done all the work for you and put all the videos, tweets, and blog posts in one place on their website. Link in the doobly-doo. So now you really have no excuse. Those are just a few reasons why the Lizzie Bennet Diaries has become my favorite thing on the internet right now. Try and keep an eye out for other transmedia stories you may see floating around. They're all pretty cool and interesting. But seriously, you should check out the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. They're doing some pretty awesome stuff over there. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.